So I grew up in a small town in northern Michigan, Alpena, and my mom was a teacher, my dad was a police officer, and I had two siblings at the time, my older brother Christopher, my younger sister Haley, um, and my mom found out she couldn't have any more children, and my parents were determined to have a large family. They both wanted that. That was something they had both um, talked about for a long time. They looked towards other means at growing our family and they decided on adoption. Colin, um, my first adopted sibling, came to us on Thanksgiving Day in 1998. Um, a true blessing, something we've been grateful for ever since. And the biggest reason why Thanksgiving is our favorite holiday as a family. Connor came seven months later as a newborn and a few years later Colby came along and his story was a little bit different um, than my other siblings. He came to us with long hair. He had girl shoes that were many sizes too big. His diaper hadn't been changed in quite some time. He was given Mountain Dew out of a bottle. He spent most of his time um, in a car seat, oftentimes ignored when he cried. He didn't have a bed, so that's where he slept. It was in that moment that I really learned how other people lived and that there were children that lived just a block away from me, down the street from me, that didn't have a family who was there for them to provide stability, to provide love, to be nurturing. And in those experiences that I think I was really changed, it really changed my heart. I think the reason why today I'm I'm such a compassionate and empathetic person is because I was exposed to the struggles of other people and specifically children. Through all of the adoption processes that we went through, through all of those experiences, the biggest lesson that I learned is that family has nothing to do with DNA. Family is about love. You know, I can't look at my siblings and see a similar face shape. We don't have similar eyes. Our noses might be different, but at the end of the day, our hearts match each other. And that is the biggest takeaway out of adoption. Adoption was something that I carried with me um, as I competed throughout the Miss America organization. And in 2015, I was crowned Miss Michigan, which afforded me the opportunity to travel the state and really talk in many communities all over um, about this issue. When I was approached, by Child and Family Charities a few years ago to become involved in Red Nose Ruckus. I was immediately um, ready to jump in because this has been something that's been a part of me for years, a passion of mine that I have really dived into and lived throughout my entire life. It's important to me that we focus on not just you know, adoption as a whole, but really our children here in the mid-Michigan area there are so many children in need, there are so many families in need, and this was the perfect opportunity for me to take my story and my experiences and put them to good use in such an amazing organization like Child and Family Charities. I'm thrilled to be here because this really has been my life's purpose. This has been something that drives and motivates me every day. My family is everything to me. And I think that every child should have the opportunity to have a family that drives and motivates them and you know, gives them passion and lights their fire and brings them love every day. Every child deserves what I have and so that's why I'm here um, and that's why I've been involved for so long because my family, the children I've seen have made such an impact on me that this is something that is so important here in the mid-Michigan area and really everywhere. I am Emily Kalaszewski and this is why I give.